We are looking at expanding into soccer for all abilities and all ages. We do also have a uh, all abilities program, so that's for power and uh, para soccer. We start from little like play to learn and we go all the way through uh, developmental stages, so recreational, competitive, uh, all the way as we also hold a Canada soccer license. So we also have a program that's coming up for Alberta Youth Soccer, and that is a uh, high performance league. The sport of soccer in Canada is so different for them and how it's run. They're used to just going out and kicking the ball on the street and getting friends together and that's how you get a team and, and there's no necessarily fees or structure to it. We try and provide as much support with them as possible so that they can understand how it is run in Canada and how they can come out and have fun and, and afford it. We have our own facility. It is in the, the northeast area, just adjacent to Marlboro. It's a half-size turf field. We also have a fitness center, boardroom, our office space is there, so we do rent it out. really open to promote anything and it ultimately is a benefit for both parties. It helps us keep our fees down and it helps them to, to not have to pay outrageous amounts for other facility space. We want to be able to offer as much as we can through the facility because to try and offer programs through rentals just adds more cost to our members and to the community. So as much as we can to keep uh, fees down, uh, that's what we're looking at doing. Although we do focus on soccer, we're a lot about creating that sense of family. A large part of the Northeast community is quite multicultural and we want to have that sense of trust and to open our doors and to, to build that team environment and to offer kids a place where they feel safe and they can have some fun and meet new friends. We're a not-for-profit, so we're not out to um, make money off of uh, youth or adults. Um, we are ultimately whatever monies we, we get. We run quite lean and we want to invest that money back into our community and our membership so that we can offer those experiences, whether it's a trip or a tournament or a pathway to a, a professional club. I've been playing soccer for quite a long time. And I really feel the family portion of it here. I'll use an example of a, a U15 boys team where they're quite multiculturally diverse, but they all believe that they are truly brothers. Um, and you have brothers uh, going out and they're practicing and their sisters now become friends because they're out there. And we have now built from our, let's say U15 boys uh, sisters now we have a U12 girls team, all from just becoming that family and really supporting each other and understanding the difficulties that are out there, whether it's through the pandemic or just ride sharing 
or just trying to find a means to play. With the women's soccer performance at Tokyo, what was the response that you felt throughout the East Side soccer community? We were excited in, in general, like to, to be honest, and especially for the women's to, to come out and, and go for gold, like it was amazing. The, the girls felt it, the club felt it, everybody just embraced it. We, we just can't wait for more. Yeah!